It's not what happens to us or around us that determines how successful and how happy we're going to be. It's what we do about what happens is what makes the difference. It's the choices we make that makes the difference. The actions that we take that makes the difference. It's the thoughts that we have about the challenge that formulate the beliefs that we have about the challenge that makes the difference. It's what you're concentrating on and focusing on 24-7 that makes the difference. It's the word you're speaking out loud every single day that makes the difference. And do you have the courage to enjoy yourself during the process? And are you going to dare yourself to find the laughter in between the tough times? I believe each and every one of us in this room, every one of you, has an abundance of optimism within you somewhere. The things that I just mentioned are the tools that you need to drill for that optimism. Hey man, I could only give you the tools. It's up to you as to whether you use them or not. Children are the funniest people on the face of this planet. Doesn't matter how old they are, two years old, preteens, preteens, that's a category. Preteens are like old people. You tell them what to do, they walk away and they mumble. <laughs> they do. You actually hear them walking away going, I didn't even do nothing. What are you picking on me for? I got to do everything all the time. I'm the owner. This place is just like living in a prison. What are you saying? Nothing. God, can't even breathe. What a good group. Hey, you know what I always wanted to do? I haven't done this yet, but I, I promise you someday I will do this. I will, it just takes a lot of nerve. I always wanted to get pulled over by a cop, roll down the window and go, you're not gonna check the trunk, are you? <laughs> How much better do you feel right now, now that you're laughing? How much better do you feel right now? Let me tell you the real reason why I'm here. I'm here because I need the money. <laughs> I'm here very simply to show you all how to acquire and maintain this very special attitude that you need to continue the success that you are now achieving and even how to kick it up a couple of notches so you can get to that next level while enjoying the process. Listen to me, my friends. There within lies the key phrase, while enjoying the process. Why is it the key phrase? Because it seems to be something that most people leave by the wayside especially when we're setting out to achieve our goals, when we want to accomplish something, when we're pushing ourselves to get to that next level, to raise the bar. That's when the stress level can get really intense. Self-doubt, overwhelm, fear, anger can become very dangerous mindsets. And without you ever realizing it, enjoying yourself becomes secondary. And with what you do for a living, with the responsibility that you have, with the position that you have, that's when it has to become primary. Studies have shown that people who make conscious choices to enjoy themselves during the process of whatever it is they're trying to achieve are more creative, more productive, they're able to bounce back a lot faster from life's challenges, and they're able to find solutions to problems a lot quicker. Whenever you are in the middle of a negative emotion of any kind, at some point you literally have to stop yourself and say, whoa, where is this going to take me? If you don't like the answer, know that you have the power to change the outcome. So when I'm in traffic and I think I'm going to lose it, I do something completely out of the ordinary to step myself out of it, and I do this. I turn into the lion from The Wizard of Oz. I figure, I figure it's gonna be hours before I get home, so what the heck, I'm gonna have fun. Everyone else is angry, their blood pressure's going high, they're beeping their horns, they're cursing at each other. Watch them, it's insane out there, not me. If you ever look at me in traffic, I'm looking right back going I want to go home. I want to go home. <laughs> oh, you laugh. People in the next car are going, don't look at him and he won't say anything. <laughs> He's got a New York license plate. Lock the door. Look straight ahead. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. <laughs> so you might think I'm crazy and so might everyone else that's in traffic, but here's the point, and a very important point. At least I know I'm not going to work in a bad mood. I'm not meeting with a client in a bad mood. I'm not going home in a bad mood. As a matter of fact, my friends, you want to know what? No matter where it is that I am going, no matter what it is that I am doing, I am going there, and I am doing it in a really good mood. My energy level is cranked. It's up here instead of down here. Do you want to know why? Basic psychology. I was able to change my state of mind. I did this all by myself. I was able to go from a potentially bad mood to a good mood just by getting in tune with my humor being. Understand this. Your sense of humor is your sense of perspective. 
It's a choice we all have on how to deal with so much of the stuff that life throws at us every day. I know how easy it is to play the victim. You can't get into that zone. I know how easy it is to blame outside circumstances for you not being happy and successful and getting what you want in life. It's easy to blame your spouse, the company, the person working for you. It's easy to blame the economy, politics, God for you not being happy and successful. It's very difficult to take responsibility for your success and for your happiness, yet, my friends, that's exactly what we need to do. And it's all based on choices. It's all based on choices. You can't stop life from throwing stuff at you. You can't stop the unexpected from interfering with your goals and dreams. But you could always choose how to respond once it's thrown. You could always choose the state of mind that you need to be in once it's thrown. Your entire life is based on the choices that you make. And for every choice that you make, listen to me, there is always a consequence, always, whether it's made consciously or unconsciously. In fact, where you are at this point in your life, think about this. Where you are at this point in your life, personally and professionally, is based on choices that you made at some point in the past. Those choices are the key factors that determine the quality of life that you have right now. If you're having bad attitudes about customers coming in and complaining all the time, understand this. You have that belief from constant bombardment of thoughts that are going through your head day in and day out. If you want to change the beliefs you have about your customers, you better start changing the way you're thinking. You better start looking at it from a totally different perspective. Change your thoughts, change your reality, change the belief. Only you can do it, and you have the power to do it. Because today, more than any other time in the history of this planet, you need a healthy attitude. A healthy attitude gives you resilience, the ability to bounce back, to deal with the ratio of no's that outweigh the essence, with the constant change that's always taking place in our lives. You want to know what kind of an attitude we need today? I kid you not when I say this. We need a New York attitude. I've always said, not just because I'm from New York, New Yorkers have that reputation, nothing affects these people. They constantly bounce back, they have resilience. And you want to know how to acquire that New York attitude? I kid you not when I say this. Look at your cat. Every cat on this planet has a New York attitude. Am I right? How many people have cats in this room? Raise your hand, am I right? Cats walk around like they are nature's gift to the animal kingdom. If cats could talk, they'd go, meow, meow. Bada bing meow. <laughs> hey, I'm walking here, I'm walking here. Why do you think they say cats have nine lives? Because they have an attitude. They keep bouncing back. Nothing affects these animals. That's the attitude you need in life, my friends. What are you going to do when you hit a wall? Are you going to bounce back? Are you going to land on your feet? Or are you going to whine about it? The attitude you don't want to have is the attitude of a dog. I kid you not when I say that. Because I, I love my dogs, I have three labs, but they are the most neurotic animals on the face of this planet. They always have that stupid, guilty look on their face, even if they didn't do it. You know, you come home and you go, who made this mess? Oh God, it must have been me. I'm so sorry I was walking, it came out apparently, I'm not well. Don't yell at me, look, my tail's between my legs. Oh, it's coming out again, I'm so embarrassed. Right, and the cat is hanging out in the living room going, what a moron. What is your problem? I did it, and you take the play. <laughs> I believe we all have opportunities to perform our own miracles during trying circumstances. We all do. It's a matter of the beliefs that you have about the challenge. It's a matter of what words you are saying out loud to yourself and everyone else around you. And it's a matter of what you're focusing on day in and day out. Scientists are all in agreement today that our lives move in the direction of our most dominant thoughts and what we focus on day in and day out. Not only do our lives move in the direction of our most dominant thoughts and what we focus on, but those very things that we are thinking about and focusing on are moving closer to us. In other words, the more you concentrate on your lack, the more of that you're going to get back.